and that uh, you might find it difficult to get things done with that kind of character. How would you respond to that kind of statement? Well, very simple is that uh, as governor of Anambra State, between the year, you surprised, between the year 2000 and year 2015, the only measure of development that is done globally is Millennium Development Goals. This is a standard benchmark. If you check, when I became governor in 2006, we started implementing it in 2008, so we are late by seven years. By the time Nigeria is stopped in 2015, Anambra was number one. And that includes, I was number one in education. This is by, this is by UNDP, not by Nigeria. By UNDP, I was number one in education by Nigeria and Wayek. I was number one, I was, I won the get prize in health. This is again not Nigeria that marked it. So I can go on. I had the best road network. In terms of fighting poverty, go and check, ask Evelyn Oputu. I was the first governor to go to Bank of Industry and say, I want us to do something. I want to put in money here and you support my micro small businesses, which is what the governors are seeing today. I and Evelyn Oputu started that. Then uh -huh. go and ask Magnus Marco, who was in charge of poverty alleviation. I was number one. I'm okay. Calling names of people. <laughs> I can go on and on. We're, we're totally but let me tell you about, yeah. the, about that issue. It's good that when my opponents talk, let us talk about corruption. Thank you. One of the things that is killing this country today is corruption perception index. And that is measured on how you manage public assets. Nepotism, how you share the land, right. how you manage your money and everything. And I've challenged everyone and just said, go and see whether there's anywhere a cover of Anambra State money is missing. Saving have now become an issue right. when people have stolen all the money and impoverished the country. And you're now questioning a man who's left the money without anybody telling me to leave it and go. Mr. Obi, we'll take that as your closing moment because we're totally out of time. But on behalf of China Salvation Partners, the Situation Room, these are charter of demands, one for you and one for uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Baba Hackman. These are uh, key areas in which the civil society organization want your team to look at and tackle. But I most sincerely thank you on behalf of all our partners.